Anoka with their second possession of the evening. Again, man in motion. This time up the middle. Big hole. And that's more than enough yardage for the first down. Again, that's a fullback, Zach Threadgood. Gill just taking the ball right up the middle, right over the center. Be able to pick up nice yardage. Threadgold. Touchdown. Seven-yard run. By Threadgill. So, uh, Zach going into the end zone to make it a 7-6 football game. It's been a play that the Tornado has been running quite consistently these last two runs. It was just basically off tackle. Could have been a trap. But Threadgill, number 40. Uh, Zach Threadgill, number 40, a 5'5", 165-pound senior. It's to him for a first time. Yeah, he put it right in the numbers. And not much doing there. Jake Threadgill, number 40, carried the ball. And again, as Centennial does, after a, a pass or a play to the outside, they tend to take a couple of plays up the middle again in order to keep those linebackers at home. And if you can get a touchdown with a two-point conversion, another field goal. Handoff goes to Treadgill, big hole left side, has a block around in front of him. Ball nearly stripped, but he's out across the 40 to the 43-yard line. Big chunk of yards given up by the Cardinal defense. Four of them. Handoff goes to Treadgill up the middle, finds a hole. He's going to be stopped short of the first down, but he's very close. Depending on the spot. Again, a little bit of misdirection. Fools the Cardinal defense that time. Threadgill did a good job of almost getting to the sticks. He's going to be about a half yard short. There you see it uh, just a good job. And he just ran Jeremy Oakley over. It's going to be fourth and short. Gain of 13 for Threadgill. Give to Threadgill, breaks a couple of tackles, knocked down, but he's got the first down across midfield. Twelve yard gain. The first and ten from the twenty-four. Flag in the backfield, Treadgill. It's going to carry a pile down near the 10 yard line. It's going to be motion. Coming back. Yeah, it's going to be motion. 24 on the offense, moving forward. Down to the end of the third quarter. Half a minute remaining. First and 15. Handoff goes to Treadgill again. And again, once he gets momentum going, it's hard to stop him. He's down to about the 21, a gain of eight. Now, the key, but the key to that, Joe, is that. When there's no call. <laughs> Single back behind the quarterback. Oh, that's a quick one. Yep. That's, that's number Threadgill. Three. Zach Threadgill on the carry. Hauls it out across the 45-yard line to about the 47. Tyler Jackson, Tyler Jackson and company. Yep. In on the tackle. So it'll set up a third down and four for the turn. Once you do that, you're you're dead meat. Straight up the middle, Threadgill with a nice gain out to the 40-yard line. A nine-yard dash by Threadgill. And again in the sequence, Anoka is starting it off uh, testing the middle. This is a real quick opener. He's able to get past the lineman. A nice block on the head there. And again up Threadgill. the middle, Threadgill, a fullback number 40 on the carry, needed five yards for the first down, and gets it, so it'll be first and 10. Again, just a quick opener up the middle. Seven yard gain on that last carry by Threadgill. He does a good job of keeping those feet moving. The injuries to Decker and um, Hastings um, are not lingering. And there's straight ahead right side, and. The offensive line really coming off the football. There you see them. That Fred was Gill Fred again. Gill again on the carry. Both hands on the football. Basically just off tackling. 
think uh, the uh, NOC offensive line now is starting to feel a little adrenaline tunistic uh, against Andover last week, and we'll see if they can continue that. And uh, Andover committed seven turnovers, five interceptions, two fumbles. And straight ahead, very conservative to the fullback who hauls the ball across the 40 to about the 41-yard line. And Zach Threadgill, the, the uh, senior running back, he was tackled by number 24, Zach Dean, a six foot, 195-pound senior for the Elks. And Truen rolls out, throws on the run, and a great catch, catch. by Threadgill falling to the, the turf as he came up with the catch. It was a short gain, and uh, Truen running for his life. Truen uh, rolling left, rolling to his left, which is obviously the best way for him to roll as a left-handed quarterback, and yep. he's able, he's under a lot of pressure. Aim with the spread. The no huddle spread. Yeah. 154 plays a game. It's a lot of plays. Straight up the middle. Did he get in the end zone? I believe he did. That was Threadgill from three yards out to give Anoka a six to nothing lead. Nothing too fancy, just nope. a counter spin. Uh, gives it to his uh, fullback who puts his head down. At 5-5, five five, he stays low to the ground. He does. Punches it through. Their own. Truen leans in under center. And. Threadgill. Threadgill again. Threadgill's good for at four, five, six yards of carry when he runs between the tackles. Reverse pivot. It just opens right up. Yep. Boy, he just drags number 45. That's Dan Webster, a, a junior running back at short. Noka straight ahead on second and 12 from the 14. And that's an eight yard gain right up the gut. A little Lubinsky. Little Lubinsky's got to make the tackle otherwise. Of course for Elk River. Second down, goal to go from the one, officially the one. See whether Truen will run the sneak. Threadgill right side, and he's in the end zone for the touchdown. A well-deserved touchdown run by Zach Threadgill. And that makes it 35-28. Now, Ed, the question comes up. Do you kick the extra point or do you go for two? Which means uh, Elk River is going to need two scores. I think they're going to... A couple of first downs here. And again, Threadgill on the carry. He gets to the open field. 30 25 and gets wrapped up on an ankle tackle. It looked like he was going for six. Of course, had that been Pat Cotter, he'd have been in, in and out of the end zone by now with his speed. But Threadgill with a big head of steam and get grabbed by Berger. Line as we are down to the final minute of the third quarter. Straight ahead, a big gain across the 45 out near midfield on a quick opener. You know, Threadgill, you can stop occasionally for a yard or two or three, but watch out, he'll bust one on you, and he did there. And I think a lot of that uh, is a credit to that Anoka uh, interior line up front, 68 Olsen, uh, 59 Klatt. For Anoka. Touchdown. Touchdown. Zach Threadgill yep. in the 40. Threadgill goes in from six yards out for the touchdown. Again, uh, We've had some just great finishes. Motion man to the near side. Threadgill. Yeah, Threadgill all the way down to the 45, maybe the 44 yard line. And again, Anoka running without a huddle. It looks we like are under two minutes. Two plays at, at, uh, at once here. Or else we call stands. them at the line of scrimmage. Second. And not the first down as the referee stretches the chain. Half and it is.